Hi beautiful, welcome to my channel. In today's video we are going to have a big swatch party. I have new lipstick collections from Kaleidos, from One Size Beauty, and from Colourpop. And then I also have an entire powders collection from Colourpop to show you, which contains bronzers, blushes, and highlighters. Um, all of these products have been sent to me on PR and I didn't know exactly how to show you them in a video but I definitely wanted to show you them somehow. So in today's video we are going to swatch them all and then we are also going to be putting the ones that I think are going to be my favorite on my face. So as you can see I already have my brows done and I have my base done, meaning my foundation, my concealer, my powder, but I don't have any bronzer, blush, highlighter, or lipstick on because we are going to be swatching everything and trying out a few of the products on my face as well. So if you're excited for today's video, then just keep on watching. Let's go ahead and start with Kaleidos makeup. They sent over this box right here and when I open it, this is what I see on the inside. There's a little stand for me to put lipsticks on and then these tints right here, I'm pretty sure are full of liquid lipsticks. So I'm going to open them and I'm going to start showing you them all. Take a look right here at how cute this little tin from Kaleidos is. And once you open it, here are the lipsticks inside. And then here is the second little tin and the packaging of the liquid lipsticks once you open it. I went ahead and put the little collection together and here's what it looks like. So let's just go ahead and start swatching these lipsticks. I'm going to start with the shade Golden Rosen and here's what Golden Rosen looks like. A very warm liquid lipstick for sure. Kaleidos comes up with some really funky shades off their liquid lipsticks but I gotta say Whenever I come across a shade that I like, I do really love the formula of these liquid lipsticks because it is a non-drying liquid lipstick formula. It's kind of like a moussey consistency and it doesn't dry your lips out, which is great. The second shade is Bloodstone, which is this vampy color right there. Then we have Siren, which is a straight up super dark purple and the color Rose Fire. So take a look right there at the very colorful collection that came in that purple tin. And let's move on to the lighter lipsticks up here. I believe these are nude, so I'm excited about this. This one is called Pink Himalayan, pretty. Take a look right there. This one is called Tundra, which is a bit warmer. Then we have the shade North, which looks nice and light, very pretty. I think this one might be my favorite one so far. And lastly, Echo Valley, which looks like a very taupey nude. This one's really pretty too. So take a look right here at the swatches of this lipstick collection from Kaleidos. If you're into colorful lipsticks, this up here might be right up your alley. However, you guys know me and my nudes. I'm definitely down here. And except for the very warm nude lipstick, the other three I could totally see myself wearing. I'm going to try one of them on my lips. It's going to be North because that's the one that I think I'm going to love the most. So let me apply it on my lips. With these, you definitely don't need a lip liner. And here's what the shade North looks like on me. As you can see, even though this is a liquid lipstick, it has that super moussey consistency where like it doesn't make your lips look dry at all. And it does, I think, a really nice job at like blurring the lines on your lips as well. Like even if I go like this, you can barely see the lines. It's really nice. I do really like this liquid lipstick formula from Kaleidos. All right, let me go ahead and take these off so we can move on to the next collection. Last thing from Kaleidos though, they also sent a coconut lip oil. So I'm gonna put that on right now to hydrate my lips. This actually feels amazing and it doesn't have any scent to it or anything. Let's move on to One Size Beauty and their entire lipstick and lip liner collection that I just got in the mail today. They also sent over this sharpener which I know I'm going to get a lot of use out of because it has a lot of storage. It sharpens really good too. Obviously it's brand new but I like it. One more thing from them I wanted to mention, they sent me this a couple of weeks ago. They have this Secure the Sweat primer and it is a primer that is not only um, mattifying and it controls oil but it also controls sweat. 
So if you are someone who has a hard time keeping like their makeup on at work, maybe you work in a restaurant or something like that and you're like active all the time and you sweat a bit through your makeup and it bothers you, I feel like this might definitely be a great thing for you to try because it is a sweat resistant primer or for a hot summer day I'm thinking if you wear makeup to the pool or the beach or a tropical vacation anything like that a sweat resistant primer definitely sounds very useful to me <laughs> I'm trying it in the back of my hand to see how it feels it has a very interesting powdery scent to it but it's not overpowering in my opinion. And as far as how it feels, it just feels a bit tacky. Anyways, I wanted to mention this because it's already available and a sweat resistant primer just seems like something we should have had forever ago, right? I'm thinking tropical vacation, beach vibes, it's hot, you're sweating. This is a good idea right here. <laughs> Anyways, back to the lipstick collection. I have four lip liners. Here are the names. Rent Du, Pink Remix, One Size Red, and Out of Line. Rent Du seems stressful to me. <laughs> so let's swatch it first. It looks like it's going to be a brown. Yeah, this is like a warm brown shade, I would say. And the consistency of these, just from swatching the first one, seems like the MAC Cosmetics lip liner consistency. So this one is called Out of Line and it's like a nude color. This is probably a bit more up my alley. One size red, which is a neutral red shade. Very vibrant, by the way. And lastly, Pink Remix. So take a look right here at the swatches of the One Size Beauty lip liner. I thought I was going to have this one as my favorite that I would try, but I think my favorite one is the Pink Remix one. Before I try it though, I do want to swatch the three lipsticks that they sent over. I believe that these are lipstick duos and here is the shades that I have. So one size red, open wide and Joella Puss? I don't know. Anyways, let's swatch them. Okay, here's the first one I opened. This is Joella Puss, I think that's the name. And here's what the packaging of these look like. So you get a liquid lipstick on one side and then a gloss on the other side. I'm swatching the liquid lipstick first, take a look. And then here's the gloss right underneath it. Okay, I like that it's pretty sheer because if it was more pigmented, I don't feel like I would like it as much. Since it is a pretty vibrant color. <laughs> so here is the first one, liquid lipstick and gloss. Oh my, this one is intense. So this one is the one called Open Wide and it has a super pink vibrant color. Take a look at the shade right there. Wow. And I'm going to swatch it right here. That is pigmented right there. And the shimmer part of this one is super, super glimmery. So I'm excited to swatch it. Let's see right down here. The camera is not doing it justice. It's a very shimmery gloss. And by the way, I haven't tried these gloss formulas on my lips yet, but they seem very lightweight. I don't think that they're gonna be sticky, so I'm excited about that. Before I try it, let's swatch the last one. This is one size red. <gasps> it looks so good. Oh my God. I think I'm gonna have to swatch this one just to try it because it looks intense. And I think I wanna see it on. And here is the red gloss. Oh wow, even this one's pigmented. So take a look right here at the lip liners and the lipstick duos swatched. This one's already kind of half dry and you can see how they dry to a very matte finish. So I'm going to try a couple on. Maybe let's start with just a lip liner on its own and then we'll try a couple of the lipsticks because I don't know, I'm interested in the formula and I'm interested in seeing how they look with the gloss on top. I'm intrigued about these. I wasn't interested um, when I just saw them on the website, but now that I've opened them and swatched them, I like the packaging, and I don't know if I'm gonna like the liquid lipstick formula, but it's worth trying it at least, so let's do that. <laughs> I wiped off the back of my hand because I would have gotten something here dirty. <laughs> and the first thing I wanna do is try the lip liner. So I'm going to try the lip liner in the shade Pink Remix. And all I have on my lips right now is the Coconut Oil Lip Balm from Kaleido. So I'm going to just put this one on the edges of that. Oh wow, I just gave myself a pout. <laughs> Anyways, here's what it looks like with the lip liner. I really like the color of this one. It reminds me of one that I've been loving from Anastasia called Rosewood. So I'm going to compare them side by side. 
they are very very similar rosewood is a bit more brown so rosewood is this one here which is a bit more brown and then the one size beauty in pink remix has a bit more of that pink tone to it but they're super close to one another and so i really like this one just like i love the rosewood one from anastasia and even the formulas of both of these lip liners are very similar in my opinion time to try one of these bad boys i think i want to go for I think this one actually because it's pink and because the gloss of this one intrigues me more because it's more shiny So I'm going to do the super vibrant pink lipstick. I'm scared. I Wiped some off before I started and I don't think you need a lip liner for these But since I already lined my lips, I have a nice guide now, so I didn't take it off I don't have any bronzer or blush or anything like that on just lipstick, but this looks intense and I'm not mad at this color. I feel like with a very light eyeshadow look, this would look really pretty, just like the red would. And also pay attention how it dried right away and it has a really nice matte finish. This does feel like a more traditional liquid lipstick formula, so it doesn't feel the most comfortable on the lips. In fact, it's a little sticky. But I am going to put the gloss on top and see if that fixes it. And also I want to see how it looks with the super glittery gloss. Okay, the gloss has been applied. Take a look right here at what it looks like. My thoughts on this one overall is that it's not something that I see myself reaching for all that often. The liquid lipstick has that more traditional formula that it doesn't feel great on the lips in my opinion. And then once you put the gloss over top, it does feel a lot better. But then I don't like the look of it as much with the gloss as I did without the gloss because it feels more comfortable to me personally to have a very intense lipstick that has a matte finish rather than shiny. So unfortunately not as big of a fan of these right here but I do hope that he expands the shades in the future and uh, maybe we can see some more nude shades. I feel like that would be amazing. And then I did really love the lip liner formula of one size beauty. I thought that these were great. The colors are nice. I also hope he expands on the shades of those in the future. Plus, I truly love the way that they applied. Done with one size beauty, so let's move on to the huge ColourPop boxes that I have here to open. I cannot believe the amount of products they sent me in each one of these, starting with the face powders take a look at everything that they sent me it is so many different shades of their new powder collection these retail for 12 dollars each there is highlighters blushes and bronzers in here i'm not sure if they sent me the entire collection or if there are some shades that are not included in my box but i'm going to swatch and show you everything i got so by the looks of it, there is eight different shades of their bronzer and I received three different ones. We have Avila Beach, which is the lighter one. The mid-tone shade is called Summerland Beach right here in the middle. And then the darkest shade is called Pacific Beach, which is this really nice warm brown color. So I'm going to try one of them. Of course, I'm going to go for the lighter one, which is Avila Beach. And we'll see what this one looks like on my complexion. So with my Wayne number one brush, I'm just going to get into it. What happened to my brow? And apply it around the forehead. I actually really like this shade for me. It's nice and it does give my complexion a really nice bit of color without being too warm or too cool toned. So take a look right here. This is the shade Avila Beach and I'm going to go ahead and swatch it next to the other two that I have. So Avila Beach on top. Then Summerland Beach, right here next to it. And lastly, Pacific Beach as my third one. Pacific Beach is definitely for tan or dark complexions that have very warm undertones because there's a lot of red tones in that one. And then the first two that I have, Avila Beach and Summerland Beach, are more so for people with neutral complexions, I think. I like that these two are nice and neutral. But like I said, they do have a ton of bronzer shades on their website, so definitely check them out. These are just the three that they sent over to me and i totally see myself being able to get used out of the two lighter shades that they sent me so i'm definitely glad that they didn't send me the entire collection because this is in fact a lot of shades 
Moving on to highlighters, it looks like they have six new highlighter shades on their website and I got two of them sent to me so I'm going to show you them both and only one of them um, actually will look good on my skin so I'll put that one on. So I got cold one which is the lightest one of them all and then the other shade I got was the shade Summer Camp which is a coppery looking highlighter. This one would look beautiful on dark and deep skin tones. Here is the shade Summer Camp Swatched, a really nice bronzy highlighter shade. And here is the shade Cold One, which looks really nice and intense, but I also really like that it feels really nice and smooth. It's like a very thin powder, so it hopefully will not enhance my texture too, too much. I will go ahead and try that one for you now. <laughs> so with a Wayne number five brush, here is the Cold One highlighter on the top of my cheekbones. Even though it's a very thin powder, I do still feel like it makes my texture a bit enhanced. So, mm, not loving that one, unfortunately. Let's move on to the blushes, and it looks like there is 20 shades of the blushes in total, and they sent over 10 of them. So I have half of the blush collection here with me. I don't think I can show you them all at once, so let's start with these four. This one is Pretty Toasty, and then the purpley one at the bottom is called Perry Air. This one here is Roxbury Drive, and then the one down here is Big Reveal. Pretty Toasty, Perry Air, which is a beautiful bubble pink type of shade with a blue undertone. It almost looks purpley. Roxbury Drive, which is another orangey shade. This one's lighter and Big Reveal, which is a more neutral pink. Then we have No Rules and Why Hello. Why Hello is one that I heard is a dupe for Pillow Talk. I did a little short on my channel where I compared it next to Pillow Talk and they're similar, but I wouldn't call them dupes, so definitely check that out if you haven't. So this is Why Hello and No Rules down here, which is a bit more of a non-pink nude type of a shade. If you want to blush but you don't like blush, then this is your color right here. It's called No Rules because it looks like a light toned bronzer almost. Next two are Sassy Pants and Pitaya. Sassy Pants is like a mauvey pinky shade. Let's put it here. Pretty, I could see myself wearing that one. In fact, I could see myself wearing these three shades and that one as well. So this one is Pitaya right here. And then the last two colors I have are super intense. These are definitely going to be best for dark and deep complexions and it is these two. This one is called Icing on Top and this one is called Full Throttle. So let's go for Icing on Top first and swatch it right down here. Oh my god, the pigmentation on this is incredible. And lastly, Full Throttle, which looks like a combination between brown and like a deep wine shade. So take a look right here. These are all 10 of the blushes that ColourPop sent my way. And I think the shade that I wanna put on is Sassy Pants, which is, I believe that one, because it looked really pretty swashed. This is a refer number five brush, and I'm just going to put it right here in the middle. Yeah, I really like this color. It's not too intense, it's pretty. So let's put it right over here. And I have to say, one thing I really did like about these blushes and their formula is that they have a really nice matte finish that is almost a bit blurring. I really like the way that they apply. This is only my second time trying one of these, but I really like how natural they look. And only 12 bucks, I feel like it's a deal, okay? Plus, ColourPop has 30% off offers often, so you could totally get these for less than $10. Anyways, here is my little Cheek Trio applied bronzer, blush, and highlighter. And let's move on to the next collection of things we're going to swatch today. <laughs> Before I wipe it off, take one last look at the swatches of the blush collection here. So last but certainly not least, we have the new Lux lipsticks from ColourPop to try. So they sent me a box full of them. I believe there is like 15 or 16 of them in the box and there is probably around double that amount in total on their website. I'm very excited to see what they sent me and there are shades that were already existing in their line and then they just created new additions to the line as well. So let's go ahead and get swatching. They sent over 15 lipsticks total. Here is like what half of them look like. It'll take me a minute to unbox all of them. So let me be right back. 
Alright, I went ahead and opened all of them and here is what the exterior packaging of these looks like. They actually feel really nice and weighted, kind of luxe feeling if you will because they're all kind of heavy. And the packaging is a beautiful rose gold shade which is my favorite. <laughs> so let's go ahead and start swatching. Oh my god, I went straight for, I believe this is a black shade. This one is called Aeronaut and it is a black shade. So let's go for it right here. Wow, these are super pigmented. So Aeronaut first, if you're looking for a cream black lipstick, you got it right here. Really nice deep red. Virgo Moon, which is a beautiful mid-tone nude. The next one is called Still. Another mid-tone nude. This one's a bit more rosy. And this mid-tone brown shade is called The Lux. These are super creamy. I'm sorry, it's called The Tongue. <laughs> Next shade is Latte, which is, I would say, more like espresso, but it's called Latte. <laughs> Actually, I think I would call it Red Velvet Espresso because it has a reddish undertone to it. Really pretty shade. So that one is called Latte, for some reason. This next one looks beautifully intense and it is called So Divine. <gasps> yes, super pretty. This reminds me of MAC Rebel. All of the ones I've swatched so far are pretty dark. We have the first bright red coming. This one is called Super Bloom. It looks beautiful. Take a look right there. Wow, it's more of a pink than a red. Really stunning shade. Next, we have the color Foolish, which is a warm orangey type color. This one is more red, and this one is called Solo. Take a look right there. That one is beautiful. This dark one is called Hola. Stunning color as well. Also kind of reminds me of Rebel, like this one did. Next, we have Gigi right down there as you can see these swatch like an absolute dream gg is a really pretty shade i like that one i think i might try that one on next we have hottie very pretty this one is called drama much and lastly this one is called the pod which is another burgundy-ish type shade so wow take a look right there at the 15 shades that they sent over they look super super beautiful and i think i'm going to try this shade that shade and then this shade starting with the darkest one this one is called Gigi. i really like this one as soon as i saw it I think I would prefer the precision of a lip liner when it comes to these, but they're so pigmented that you could do without a lip liner for sure. So this one is Gigi, which I maintain I really like. This is the other one I picked, which is called Still. Take a look at Still right here. This one's nice as well. Nice mid-tone rosy shade. And lastly, I'm going to try Virgo Moon. So here's what Virgo Moon looks like, which I really like. This is a nice nudie shade, but it still has a bit of fun color in there as well. I like it. You know what? I feel like we should put the black lipstick on just for fun. Let's go for it. <laughs> I've never had a cream black lipstick before, and I feel like this is going to show you how pigmented these really are because it's black. So let's see. I mean, wow. <laughs> Take a look right here. <laughs> very, very intense indeed. <laughs> Alrighty, time to wipe these off. And so that is everything I have to swatch and to show you today. Definitely thankful to these companies for sending me these products so that I can share them with you. And thank you to everyone who gave me the idea to do a swatch party type of video to show you these collections on the video where I asked your opinion about it. Uh, because here we are, here's the video for you and I've ended it with a black lipstick on. <laughs> before I didn't do my eyes before I started because I knew I was going to be putting some funky lip colors on my lips today, and so I didn't want anything to clash with the lips I was going to show you. Plus, I'm filming an eyeshadow video after I finished filming this one that I'm very excited about, so I needed clean eyes for that one. So excuse the weird look in today's swatch party, but I really hope that you guys liked it. If you're interested in any of these collections, the links to them are down below in the description box as per usual. And if you like this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up before you leave. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I love you guys so, so much. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you back in the next one. Bye.